Hi, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for being here. Oh my gosh, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. It feels like about 15 years since I've vlogged. It, it is. It, it, I think it might have been. Uh, it's been a long time since I've vlogged because obviously I was just uploading all of the announcement vlogs. I was planning on uploading them within like a week, but then I just didn't vlog anything. So I was like, you know what? No, I'll just do one a week. I'll get them out and then I'll catch up with them. Um, so this is me, actual current time, up to date now, guys. Um, I'm back. <laughs> and this isn't a baby related video. This is just a life, house updates, house plans, what we've bought, being q all that kind of jazz, the stuff I know a lot of you like and the stuff that I like. Um, but I'm back and I am 21 weeks pregnant. <laughs> um, I'll do a proper bump date later, um, but let me just let Chai in because he's just giving me the dog eye as he is outside doing his business. Um, but yeah, so, how are you? How have you been? I'm really well. I've had my hair cut off. And the blonde is still there to about there. Um, but then my sister put her through. I don't know if it's classed as a toner or a colour. But she's put a dark colour through. Because I just said I want it to look more like just my natural. Which is literally, that's all my natural. Because I was bored of it. I knew that this would happen as soon as I like dye it blonde for so long. Then I get bored and I want to go back just natural. And then probably as soon as it's all grown out and I'll, I'm really happy with it, I'll be like, let's, let's bleach it. So it's just a circle and a cycle that I go through. But yeah, I've had it cut because it literally, it was like to my, my nip. And honestly, well, it might have just been below. It was really long, but it was like straw. If I didn't style it, I looked like Hagrid, genuinely. Um, but not even like, I'd probably say worse. But I'm going to show you, we went to Matala yesterday. Um, that sun is glorious, although it's not the nicest of days today. It's a little bit gloomy, but when the sun comes through, I stood in B&Q earlier. Um, I'll insert the B&Q footage after this, but that was this morning. Um, but yeah, I went to B&Q and I literally just felt like a sunflower because I was just, oh my gosh, it's getting brighter. I don't care if I can't see. This is great. Summer's coming! I'm so excited for summer. We went to Matalan yesterday. So I'll show you what we got. This is um, for the baby's room. So we got three lots of... Ugh, that noise went through me. <laughs> I just scratched this cardboard. Ugh, that gave me... Goosebumps. We got three lots of these light grey five pack kids flocked hangers because they're tiny and I, they can hold baby grows and all the little cute outfits that we haven't got because I've not really bought that many. Tell a lie, we went last weekend and we bought like two outfits but that's one thing that we actually haven't been buying and I'm really surprised at myself. Outfits and it's because we don't know what we're having. I don't know whether, I feel like I need to like fully like talk to you all and like debrief. So I don't know whether to say me and Brad will do um, a Q&A. Have you got any questions? If you, maybe you haven't, I don't know. Um, any questions, anything you want to know, any house plans, any, anything you can, you can ask. And if I get enough, I'll film it in a video. If not, I'll just reply to you. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, so we've got obviously the baby's room, which is going to be a whole transformation. So it's house related, but also baby related. So it's a bit of both, which I'm liking. Um, that'll be a later vlog. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm enjoying it. Stuff has happened. Stuff is happening, and I'm excited. Um, but yeah, I bought some coat hangers because. I want, I also want them all to match, isn't that really a bit sad, but, and there was only three of these, so I'm going to have to go back to Matalan and get some more, because, um, I want them all to match. I'm just, 
I need to get a grip, don't I? Um, then um, we bought these spray bottles, three, three pound, and we bought four of them. I'm gonna take off that label though, because it's not gonna be laundry, the laundry co clean. Can I take it off? Oh no, oh no. It's stuck on, it's like printed on. Okay, well what I will do is I will just write what it is there. That's okay, I'll stick one of my labels on top. I didn't realise that, but that's fine. They'll still work exactly the same. I'm just going to put my antibacterial sprays in them and then also just my general surface cleaners, which I like to make. And our ones that we've got, the spray bottles, the spray bottles are fine, but the sprayers are broke. And I, when I saw these, I was like, oh, do you know what? I just, I can't be bothered. What are you stealing? That's my dress. We've got a guilty dog looking at me right now. Go to daddy. <laughs> Um, and then the only other things we got from Matalan was a little baby jacket. I say we haven't bought any baby clothes. We literally bought some yesterday. A little baby jacket, which is three to six months. And some basic um, baby growers, long sleeve and short sleeves. Um, but I really feel like I haven't spoke to you in about 15 years. And I feel like... Um, bit hyper about it. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna talk really fast and talk your ear off so I need to keep remembering to um breathe and not not um <laughs> come up for air and not um chat your ear off too much because otherwise this vlog is gonna be about 17 years long because you've I've not spoke to you really other than obviously like the intros and last week's video was just talking about the first and the bit of the second trimester, just life in general. I haven't really spoke to you since before Christmas because, well, no, I no, for the first few weeks, I uploaded. It has all been a blur, it's honestly. Brad's here, by the way. Uh, <laughs> just lurking in the background again. Yes, that is right. Um, but yeah, life has been life in, it's been great. Um, got loads of plans for the house. Um, the, the sun's beautiful, but doesn't it show off all the wipes and the not very clean windows? Thanks, mummy. <laughs> My mum cleaned them as well, so I'll be ringing her saying, Hey up, hey, mum. Hey up, what's happening here? Hey up, mum. <laughs> what you been doing to my <laughs> I'm joking. I'm grateful for anyone who wants to come and clean my windows, honestly. If my mum wants to clean my windows, please. Please clean them. Um, I can deal with a little bit. We don't get much sun anyway, so I can deal with a little bit of um, a smear here and there. Uh, but the plan today. So this morning, lunchtime. No, it wasn't even this morning. It was this afternoon. We went for a Sunday dinner, which was really nice. I looked like I was feeding 16 with the size of my plate. My eyes are definitely bigger than my belly. Um, and then... What's he got? Has he got his bone or has he got food on his bone? Um, and then after that, we went through to B&Q because we are turning into green... Is it green thumb or green fingered? Green fingers, green thumb is both. Uh, We're turning into that. We are going to have a go at growing tomatoes, potatoes, potatoes. and herbs. herbs, which you know I've got my herb garden. Washers. Um, oh yeah, you want to have a go growing some mushrooms, don't you? We need to get a kit for that now. Um, so we've been and we've got stuff. So I'll just insert the B&Q footage just so you're up to date. It, not much happened, but I'll insert it and then you can come back. A good old trip to B&Q. Mm. <laughs> I'm just stood like a sunflower, <laughs> taking in the sun. Oh my gosh. I just said I feel like I've been in the dark for like eight solid months, so I'm just, I don't care if I look silly. And people keep walking past me looking at me wondering why I'm just stood with my eyes closed looking up. <laughs> I need some vitamin D. So yeah, we went to be in Kiel. Um, and we got wood because our project, Brad's project, is to build an indoor plant stand. Like a starter. 
Bro. For like an indoor greenhouse. Yeah, for our like plant starters, and then eventually, when we're not growing any like tomato plants, there'll probably just be plants on there. Um, because we got rid of the the tree that's in this corner, where Brad is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we got rid of the tree that was there. Um, we gave it to a family member, so it's being loved somewhere else. Don't worry. Um, because we were we wanting to use that space basically, and we want to store our tomatoes inside, and then they go to the like little plastic greenhouse that I've got. Um, we want to build the summer house and everything, and then we want to put some garden beds in where we're going to grow. Have a go, have a go at growing some like onions and the basics, I think, to begin with. Um, and then obviously all the herbs, you know how I like them. So tomatoes is our first port of call and potatoes. So for the potatoes, I've um, got... For the potatoes? For the potatoes, I've bought, or we bought, should I say, because it's both of our money. Um, we bought these for the spot starters and these to sit on them because they can sit in the shelf. Um, and then we bought these, which I see people mix cement and stuff. And I also see horsey people feed their horses. Am I right? I'm sure my friend who had a horse used to feed her horse from this. How deep are them trees? How deep are these trees? You want it to be able to grow like obviously just a bit further yeah um but yeah so my thoughts are drilling holes in the bottom of this standing them on some bricks so they're not put sorry guys this isn't very good is it um i forgot what i was saying sticking them on some bricks three each so that they are on um on the patio because i got told if there's a frost it can kill them and then doing potatoes in these so we bought four yeah four of these um and we're gonna have a go and i bought some seed potatoes i know you can just use um old potatoes i've got them little sprouty things i mean can't you but we've had them all and i also got told by a guard the garden center man that um the seed potatoes are better but who scored oh no oh no is it two two yeah Come on, Liverpool. I've well. fucking scored all year. Liverpool's playing. Um, but yeah, so our plan right now is to do some house stuff to make this unit that's going to live in the kitchen with all our herbs and indoor veggies and stuff, just to free up the windowsill as well, because I've forever got basil or something in there which i'm quite happy with but it'll be nice to have a little space for it and that that part there obviously in winter it's against the glass so it might be a little bit chilly but in summer it's literally a greenhouse because we have sun all day until like it sets basically so we're really lucky that it ends up on the patio yeah. so the plan is to build that and i'm so excited for all the plans we've got for the house this year and all like i know we're having a baby and we've got that but <laughs> But I am excited for the fact that. that um, do you think it's not really, but okay. in between probably then. Yeah. yeah, you want it to be big enough so that you can put stuff on it, don't you? I suppose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it because are we are we planning on starting in the summer house this year? Yeah. So the summer house is a go go. The garage wall, we're building a wall in the garage and making that into a, a room. That's the plan. Um, the nursery, that's happening immediately, like it's happening. Um, just general things like I want to jazz up the kitchen, like we need prints for up here. I need to get frames, I need to go on Desenio, um, because I know that they have some good frames, unless you know any other places. Um, that you'd recommend because I big frames are really expensive um, and I know that you can get some good deals on Desenio can't you I'm sure you can I've seen people have deals so I'm gonna see what I can find um, we've just got some really lovely plans for the house and the garden and I'm I'm just excited we've just got a lot a lot going but this has been a 14 minute intro so I think we should start building something 
<laughs> because I know some of you are thinking, shut up. I'm thinking that too, so I am going to shut up now. Chai's here, by the way, guys. <laughs> Always here. Aren't oh, yeah. <laughs> There is one part of the frame done. That's where it's gonna live. The sunset is gorgeous. And my plant just saying hello. Keeping dad company, Chai. So for those of you that are new, um, we are doing our summer house. There-ish, it might be slightly bigger, um, but this is the garden at the minute. It is dead and there's a pill you don't want to see that i need to pick up the dog pill um but yeah we're doing a summer house there there's the um veggie herb garden should i say and then along here we are planning on doing a vegetable garden we're gonna put our potatoes along here we're, we're thinking greenery we're gonna go for it and then on here we're gonna do something about this table because it just didn't last um, bless him, you put so much hard work into it and it just didn't survive, did it? So we've scraped some of it up. It was obviously the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and we're going to freshen this up, jet wash it. I'm not going to paint it a colour, we're just going to oil it and protect it. And then along here, eventually, we want like an um, uh, outdoor, obviously, workshop-esque kind of vibe with a built-in barbecue and literally just a pizza oven all the good stuff and then down here we're going to do a shed so the garden is definitely do and a, a table we're going to have a table um new cushions my swing chair it's just going to be a vibe um, and then a down the line with like a wood fire hot tub to live here <laughs> but that's that's down the line but um hopefully that line is short <laughs> um but look we're getting there whilst brad is out there um doing the um shelves oh my gosh i can't speak um i am just cleaning the new bottles that we've got from matalan and i'm going to fill them up with my sprays just take the labels off them all get them clean the tumble dryer is going um, all of my washing is now complete 72 loads later um it's complete so for another day until i look in the basket tomorrow and there's about 500 t-shirts from brad in there that i never saw him wore and that he says i don't produce that much washing <laughs> um, but how are you all anyway how have you been i just don't feel like i've spoken so long um i just 
I'm really excited to be like back in the swing of it and like uploading. If you're new, I upload every Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Um, and I upload all things house, life, holiday, days in the life, just basically what we, what we get up to and I like to share. I don't share everything. Um, but just a bit of reality and but then a project and just what I like to watch basically. Uh, so I hope you like it too. Yeah, I'm really happy to be back. Um, and like just get in the swing of things again. So Brad is asking how many shelves? Right. Mm. The reason I ask is because obviously you can have one on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, but they want, but then we're going to put bigger pots in it maybe. Oh, sorry, 300? Yeah, I think 300. So, because then it gives us that. I did that. Obviously, I got to like the piece of wood on you, so. Okay. 310, like that. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, I think so. Do you want to go put your hand under? That's fine, so let's go. Actually, 300. Okay. Oh, sorry. And then how many can that get? Whilst Brad has been outside, I this is how out of sync I am. I forgot to actually show you the before and me doing it, but here is the finished product of um, the under sink storage. Um, we've got uh, white vinegar, which is empty because I need to fill it up. Antibacterial spray, thank you, Chai. Oh, he's just kissing me. Um, our surface spray, which is just vinegar and orange peel. Um, dishwasher tablets, but our dishwasher broken, so I need to get some dish soap. Um, all of the actual like other stuff that we don't really use other than like carpet cleaner. And this, so it's just organised, which looks better already. And it's just nice to be able to see what you're grabbing. And the bin bags at the back there, but yeah, it's so much better to see what you're grabbing. <laughs> you might try. You just want attention. I know what you want. You want your ding dings. Do you want your ding dings? And this is what we're working with. So Brad is just outside now cutting the um, slats that's going to sit along there. Um, I'm thinking eventually painting it white so it like blends in a little bit more. But we should see. I'm just looking forward to having like I know it's for <laughs> the um, tomatoes and things, but I'm looking forward to like dangling plants off it and making it look like it lives there, like it's supposed to live there. That looks cool, babes. We've decided on four little slats because um, we could put more on it. And that looks really good. It's looking good, my sugar plum. Looks so good. This is what it's looking like right now. So we've put the seed trays on. Obviously, we need to finish this one and this one. The bricks aren't going to live there either. And the top. But I think he's done a fabulous job. We're thinking we're going to paint it white. Um, but... I'm really looking forward to painting it white and it all just having little green plants on it. But Brad wants to mix a little bit of soil up now and we're going to put some tomato plants in these to get them going. See how many we can get in there and then we'll maybe probably get a few more of them. We're planting tomatoes. We did them. So we've got different variety we've got a pack left of tomatoes that we're going to put there but we just need to get um an extra well some more of these and then we're going to have what did you want to have a go making of growing uh, what's in the bucket uh, potatoes are going to go in the bucket yeah, oh okay. got some packets, oh yeah you bought some uh, like, yeah so we bought some basil yeah. rocket um, coriander, but that'll just go in the herb garden as well. Um, I don't mind. And then some marigolds, um, because apparently they're really good to have around tomatoes and potatoes. Um, and they're edible. 
which is cool. We can eat them. So we could do a salad and put them on it. We are just on the front and we are doing a little bit of gardening. We're sorting out these lavender plants and um, getting rid of some weeds to make it look fresh, ready for getting into it. Well, we are in spring now, but like actually getting into spring. So it's all fresh and then summer can come around and it's just a job that's already been semi done. It is I. It's a new day, by the way. Um, but I thought I'd carry on the vlog because I don't think I got loads of footage and I wanted it to be actually a proper day at home, house vlog, get things done in the house kind of vibe. Oh, look how pretty this is with all the green around me. And I've got mud on my face. <laughs> I had gloves on, but I've still somehow got mud up my nails. <sighs> so I am moving on to this task of mine that I wanted to do. That's my slipper. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Walking around with my slipper, being a little thief. Don't be a thief. Oh, you come say hello to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wants to sit on the bench with me. <laughs> Honestly. Um, I will get this word out and this sentence out at some point. Oh, let's, um, we don't want everyone looking at you, Willy Bob, or your bum hole, or <laughs> anything of the above. Right. This plant is ready for a new pole. I've had this pole, this extra long pole, for, I wouldn't be lying if I said going on six months probably, maybe even longer, um, because it's long, it's growing, and I love it when it drapes down, but I want it to keep on flourishing and growing up in our bedroom. So, I am going to put it in a new pot. I'm going to put um, it wrapped around. And then I might even... Oh, he's got another slipper now. Thank you. <laughs> Anything for attention. Anything for attention. That's, yeah, that's my armpit. <laughs> that's my booby. What are you doing? Um, and, and then I think, guys, this plant that's been on the wall, this one, it's the same as this one and the same as this one. But that one is alive. There's new leaves forming all the time and it's growing. But the old leaves that are there have fell off. They fell off over the years. Like the last year, it fell off a lot. And I think it's because it's probably not 100% happy. It's happy in the fact that it keeps on growing and new roots, like new bits keep coming. But the old stem is bold. It's literally bold, like... It's meant to be, it's meant to be like this, flourishing. And it's like that, not flourishing, even though the ends are happy and like new is coming, but what's there before it is just that. And I don't love it. I, I want, I'd love the idea of it being just leafy and going leafy all up the wall. That's the vibe. Um, but this one's happy because it's not in the sun. This one isn't always in the sun in winter, but during summer, I think it gets a little bit too much sun. Um, and I also struggle to water it because obviously it's a dangly plant. I can't, um, and it's all strapped to the wall. I can't take it out its pot and give it a water. Whereas I, I water this one in the sink. I take it down, I water it in the sink, I let it drain for a while and then I put it back in and I think that works and it works for this one as well. Um, but that one doesn't get that. I just have to water it like every other week. I do it like on a weekend. I have one weekend where I water all my plants and one weekend where I don't because otherwise I found that they were being watered too much. Um, and it, it does tell you when it needs watering because it's very it's a dramatic plant. The leaves, this one's ready for, to get him ready for a water actually. Um, but the leaves start to like go like sad for themselves. So it's not that I can't keep it alive. It's just that it's just not loving it there. So I'm going to use this old... Um, bam I don't know what it is this old one even though it's not big enough because there's no leaves on it I'm just going to wrap it around because I could just cut it but then I feel like that's like years of growth and it makes me really sad of cutting it even though there's no leaves on it but I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take it down and put a different plant in that plant um, dangler it hasn't necessarily got to be a dangly plant or one that trails. Just going to put one that's there. But does anyone know of any plants that 
would be happy in that area. In summer, it does have sun from about 12 o'clock till about, maybe not, yeah, 12, it depends how hot it is. I mean, it's not in the sun at the minute, but usually in summer, it gets really warm in here, like, um, because it just comes on the orangery um, and it stays on it until the sun sets. Um, so I want something that's good with sun, but also in winter, obviously, it doesn't get, it, it gets more sun than that one. I don't, I just don't know what plant to put there. Um, what else have I tried? Like the fern plant, I know that that would not be happy there. Um, my spider plants, I just don't know. I just feel like they get burnt because when I had them in the window, I had to move them from the window because they kept getting burnt and dying. There's another plant that kept getting burnt and weren't happy. Like, so what plant could I put there that doesn't burn easy? Doesn't, just the easy one to look after. I just don't know, but any suggestions are really welcome. Um, Today's task is to sort out this garage and make it look like... A garage. <laughs> Do you know what? I think most people's garages are messy, if I'm honest, but we want it to look like just clean. It's not used. Like it's not used. Yeah, that's the goal. I like the house to look like we don't live in. <laughs> Hello, it's me. Just jumping in to end the vlog and show you our progress because I realised that I didn't actually show you the finished result, or the finished result of the garage, my plant, or the book, um, not bookshelf, the plant stand. So the the plant stand isn't finished yet, um, but we do have plants on it in the meanwhile that are all sprouted, um, which is crazy. So we've got loads of tomato plants coming. Um, basil, all of the herbs, it's great. So I'll show you that and then you can be up to date. So this is what it's looking like right now. They are all waiting to be filled um, and the potatoes are waiting to be in the ground. But yeah, we want to paint it white um, and then I want to put some plants on it. And I think I might dangle like this mirror thing from it, make it look really jazzy. But at the minute we just did that and then we just wanted to get some plants on it so that the, the seedlings could get going but look at them brad's really proud so he should be we're not gardeners but we're gonna try really gonna try this year this is what the garage is looking like so it's still it's a garage guys isn't it it's never gonna be <laughs> it's never gonna be perfect um or clutter free but the plan is i don't know if you knew but we're gonna be putting a wall along here so then this side will be the garage this side will be an additional utility we're going to put flooring in different lighting still going to look like a garage on this section and this section is going to stay obviously because we we worked really hard doing them um but yeah we just want it to look like another room so that children's toys can be stored in here and it can just be really organized and spider proof more spider proof <laughs> should i say um but yeah this is the garage so far and then this is what my plant is looking like. It's got a lot of growing room, but I love it. It's very happy here in my in our bedroom. So, and we love greenery in the bedroom. But yeah, that's our plant. So now you are all up to date. Um, since the beginning of this vlog, you've got my slipper again. Oh my gosh, it seems to be a thing through this vlog, doesn't it? Still in my slipper. <laughs> what have you got? That's my slipper, my destroyed slipper. I need some new ones and then you can have them. But I actually like wearing them. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I would just um, jump in and end it because I didn't think I got much footage, but now it actually turns out to be quite a nice lengthy vlog. So I hope that's okay with you all and you've enjoyed it. But at the beginning of this vlog, I was, um, I can't remember how many weeks I was, but at the end of this vlog, as right now, literally, current time i am 22 weeks and five days 22 weeks plus five and the bump is a growing and they are moving and i can feel them kick all the time and i can um see them kick through my belly now that started last week um so 
I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying being pregnant and seeing my body change and growing my little boy or girl. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning, if you've got any questions or want to know anything or anything like that, shoot them down below. If I get enough questions, I'll do a QA. and a If not, I'll just reply to you. I'll make my way through the comments. Sorry, I'm not very good at replying at the best times. Um, but I'll try. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you for all the love and all of the um, videos that I've uploaded the last few weeks of baby content and stuff. You're all so lovely. I'm really lucky that you're all so nice. Um, but I'm going to go because I've, I'm sure you're probably sick of seeing me. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for being here. I hope you're happy and healthy because you deserve to be. And I shall see you next Tuesday. Bye.